Well, it was about 50 minutes. There's a lot to, to mention. Um, no, more than anything, a, a lot of it was introductory for a number of new players, new people that they're coming in contact with. Um, they were able to hear from, from ownership, from Ben, from myself. Uh, it's pretty typical, I would think, for, for an opening uh, of spring training. You know, how would you sum up day one, first full squad workout, first time you're together out in the field? Uh, it was good. Uh, I thought things flowed well. Based on what we set out to accomplish, you know, understanding that base running is an emphasis, we were able to get into that right away. Um, fortunately, the weather held off, and uh, we made it was a good work day. As the new manager of the team, yeah, how important do you feel that first day? Just kind of getting your message across uh, during that meet, just kind of your introduction to obviously a lot of the guys you know, but to, to the guys maybe you don't know. There are, but there's a a good number of players that uh, there is no history with, so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think more than anything, that first conversation, first talk is a way to possibly set the tone, which I, I think was clear. Um, but the thing that we want to emphasize is that it's a matter its a matter of what we do on the field and not what we're talking about. Uh, we're hopeful and with every intent that our actions speak certainly more volume than, than our words. John, what, what would you, you talked about the significance of setting the tone. How, how would you describe the tone that you would like set? Um, that everything has a purpose uh, and that there's uh, I want to say a sense of urgency but each day in spring training because of our current situation new staff, number of new players uh, we've got a lot of ground to cover and that was outlined um, somewhat the outline how we, we intend to go about getting that message across and, and the mindset that we're trying to create here like I said I don't think it's drastically different than in many other places, but it's specific to our needs. Any any new rules uh, they go? Is that what the rules you have? No, not yet. Not yet, Johnny. No. John, when you, when you were hiring your coaching staff, you, you talked a lot about having trust them guys and knowing them over the years. How much do you believe in letting your coaches coach in the spring training setting? Oh, I, I think it's important no matter what role you're in. If you're in a position of hiring, you, you you seek the best available people and then give them the freedom to do their work. Um, you know, to, to, over, to look over one's shoulder all the time and micromanage, I think that's a de demotivator and it doesn't allow for the creativity of the individual to come out. So um, I think we, we've got that in place with, with our staff and the, and the individuals that comprise the staff. For, for, you, and, for you in spring training, do, do you kind of see yourself overlooking everything and, and kind of interjecting yourself when you feel you need to or how does, how does that... How do you look at what you need to do? I, I'm responsible for everyone here, whether it's staff, player, or otherwise, uh, particularly as, you know, as it relates to on the field. So yes, I, I'm certainly going to keep the pulse of everything that's going on. Um, there are specific strengths that I have that will be uh, maybe a little bit more evident, uh, but this isn't about one person by any means. It's uh, certainly responsible for it, but we've got a lot of quality people here to take advantage of. Any uh, MRI update from the MRI on Napoli? Not yet. Uh, we're hopeful that we get that uh, the results of the read of that later today. Um, so no update as of yet. How did, did you get a chance, uh, John, to see David run? Looked like he was doing some ru extra running drills uh, in the outfield with Dr. Ronan. Part of his uh, current rehab. Uh, he's not in the base running or the conditioning drills that we do uh, or that we are doing. And mm -hmm. um, they're specific to his protocol. So uh, he feels not only getting stronger, but uh, with each passing day, there's less hesitancy uh, to be a little bit more agile, a little bit more explosive. So I know that's a relative statement, but he's making good progress. John, what was it like just being out in the 